good day viewers and subscribers welcome back to my channel this is girls connection the world connection please remember to subscribe like and share also click the notification bell to receive daily news updates locally and internationally mommy me i got that young you know youth who fell from bus step and was run over felt his time on earth was short around 5 p.m on monday Simone Nemhard Green had just finished cooking a meal for her children when she received a disturbing call. Her son had fallen off the steps of a bus and was run over by another along the Portmore leg of Highway 2000 in St. Catherine. Reports from the ferry police are that the 23-year-old was standing on the step of a Toyota Coaster bus which was traveling along the highway towards Spanish Town with its door open. He fell from the vehicle and was run over by the rear wheel. Another Toyota Coaster bus that was traveling behind also ran over him. Nemhard Green said that she had repeatedly begged her son to break the habit of going on fun bus rides. I don't know if it is destiny make him go like that. Because I always say, left the bus, I don't like it. You can always have a friend them, just not bother go on the bus. The mother of eight said, I just finished cooking and shared a dinner for his two brothers when I heard his sister scream out and say, What you mean him drop off a bus? Same time, Mr. Jesus Christ, that must be him because I him alone always the on bus, Nemhard Green said. The mother revealed that he did not work on a bus but often traveled on the vehicle as it belonged to his friend. The grief stricken mother added that her son, a former student of the Healtham High School in the parish, predicted that he was going to die young because he was a sickler. Because him have sickle cell, him always tell me, Mommy, me got dead young enough. And I would say, Don't say that. Him would say, Mommy, me have sickle cell enough. But I would tell him that can't determine anything. Nemhard Green was drowning in her emotions yesterday when we arrived at her home in Duncan's Pen in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. She struggled to find words to describe her feelings. From my ear, me can't eat, me not drink, me not hungry, not at all. It hard for process. After I went down there and saw him, his eyes were wide open like he saw what was coming. The mother said that her son was not an idler despite the circumstances behind the manner in which he died. Him always said, Mommy, me soon dead and me go get a 10 picnic for take care of and buy ya a teeter. Me tell him to buy me the teeter but take care of your picnic them yourself. Him is a very jovial person and everybody loved him. Everybody know him because him tin glass for a living. And from him young, him always saved towards everything he wanted. When he bought his car, him a buy parts for the car before him even finished paying for it. He always wanted to be a trailer driver, she said. As of March 15, some 94 persons have died as a result of motor vehicle mishaps on the nation's roads. This is Girls Connection, the world connection. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. Also, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you.